Wizard of West LA here. This is our section of all the projects and various things that you can do with an Arduino. I'm using the Elegoo kit, which is a copy of a Uno R3 Arduino, and we'll do step by step of how to assemble these projects. So the first one we're going to look at is how to make a blinking light, and that is right here on the board, and we're going to write some code and show you what it does. This is the first project where you don't have to hook anything up, but it gives you an idea of how to make that little LED blink. So let's get started and let's take a look. So on the Arduino software, once you get that installed, you're going to see two sections. There's always a setup section, which is everything between these two braces. And you're going to see a loop section, which is everything between these two braces. So let's put in some code to make the LED blink on the Arduino board. So on the first part of this code, you're going to want to set this sketch, as they call. You're going to want to set it up so it actually sends something to the Arduino. So if you use this and you would put pin mode, actually it's a good idea to indent it. You could do pin mode, and you can see they turn red when they're commands, okay? And then you can use this one, you can use LED built in output. We can actually find that LED too. And what you do, this tells it that that LED the built-in LED is an output, which it obviously is. You're not going to sense anything from that from that LED. Now the loop is going to go over and over and over again. So I'll try writing this code. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to write to it. So we can say digital write. Okay. And then we can say L, same thing, LED built in okay set it to high okay just follow me along here and then we're going to delay it you'll understand these as you use them over and over again which is kind of nice and at the end as you notice I'm always putting semicolons okay and then again you can put digital right LED built in low put the semicolon and then delay 1000 1000 is equal to a second so here's what it is what we're going to do is write to that LED built in high okay we're gonna put it high which turns it on basically and then we're going to delay a thousand okay which is one second okay it's in milliseconds and then we're going to write to it again, that LED, and put low, which is zero volts or off. And then we're going to delay that by a thousand. So let's try that. Let's send that to the LED board. Let's send that. Okay, let's send that to the Arduino. And you hit this arrow here and it uploads it to the Arduino. It's sending it over. And as you can see, those lights flash, and that is at one second. So you can see what it does. Now here's the fun part about this. You want to see it working, okay? You want to see, did you really type it in correctly? Change the 1000. This is what's fun, you can change it. Change it to 500. Let's do half a second. Okay, and then, we send that to the Arduino. Okay. You'll see it flash there. A little faster, huh? Okay. And now try it. Ah, try it at 100. Try a little faster. Okay. You can click it somewhere else just to see if it stays there. Hit the arrow. 
Okay, now we're uploading it again. There, notice that? Now it's sending it much faster. So this is the code on how you turn on and off the LED, and this gives you an idea of how the software or how the programs usually work in Arduino. You have a setup, and then you have a loop. Built-in is usually identified as that pin. Okay, one last thing, if you're really curious, the established, what's established here is the built-in LED. That is actually pin, it goes pin number, and then what you want to do with it, input or output. Replace it with 13. That's the pin, so let's try that, 13. Now remember, this is a clone one. It should work the same with all the clones. The same, it's a copy of an Arduino, so it's the same. Let's send it to the Arduino. There we go, it's still flashing. And if you're not sure, change this to a thousand or any higher number. Just doing this for testing, and then hit the arrow and send it. There we go, what do you notice? It's back to one second. So, that LED on that board right here is tied to pin 13. It's designed so you don't have to put a resistor and all these other parts. We'll be going through that later. You can actually play with the Arduino and flash that, flash that LED to give yourself a test to see, just to learn the software. So that's all we have for this video, and I hope you have fun with it. Feel free to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and we're going to cover all the different projects. So remember, have fun with your Arduino and keep on learning.